Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and to this little mini series of The Sims 4 Nifty Knitting. Um, today is New Year's Eve and we are just making the most of the snow at the moment out here um, while trying not to fall asleep. Before we actually get to any knitting today, which we do need to do to carry on with the aspiration, um, I'm going to have a look at trying to do these New Year's Eve things up here. So one of them we have already done, which is to decorate um, because we've still got our Christmas decorations up. I think that's why that's been completed. We don't have to do the party spirit one uh, because we have the loner trait, uh, so even less to do. It's pretty much just these two. So we have to make some resolutions, which is going to be really quick and easy, hopefully, and stay up past midnight, uh, which is actually going to be a challenge right now with our energy level. Um, so yeah, when she has finished doing this, um, we can have a look at making a resolution. Um, I guess we get to pick one. Okay, so it looks like some of these might actually affect gameplay and it means we might get something if we do the resolution. I was thinking we need to get a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Although she's a loner, so how is that going to work? Hmm. Maybe we should do get fit because that's the classic, the classic New Year's resolution. And like I said, we, we put on a little bit of, I'm going to call it knitting weight. Um, from just sitting around all day, so we can have a go at doing that seriously. Oh, we can already start on a year's resolution. I think you can probably watch TV while you're on the treadmill. See if it works. Oh my gosh, look at that pose. That is goals. Oh, we're, we're gonna need a little work. I think he's judging us. I paused it at the perfect moment. That's brilliant. Okay, and we completed it. So we didn't need to do anything for being a loner. And we got the points from all the other tasks. So I'm going to just stay here for a little while till she gets bored. Um, and then we need to get to knitting. Oh, it looks like she likes this guy. Where did you get that cocktail from? And of course this is what she's doing as soon as she gets home from the gym. We just got billed our last $18 so now we're completely broke because we have used too much power this week. Okay, I guess maybe I should turn off auto lights. Um, okay, so we need to have something to eat quickly. And we may as well eat the rest of the leftover cake. And yeah, I need to just get her to go around collecting a few little things just so we've got enough to start knitting again. And then what I'll do is I'll kind of save up a load of items. And now that we've got the marketable trait, we can see what she can actually get for them on Plopsy. Um, I won't really be able to compare too much, um, but hopefully it will be a decent amount of money. So the main thing that I'm going to be doing in this little part of this series is just to work through these. So at the start of this, she's been knitting for a bit. She actually hadn't done any legendary knittables yet, but now she has done two out of five. Um, we've got level 10 in the knitting skill already. So the other thing she has to do is donate five knitted items to charity. And then we have to teach someone else how to knit. So hopefully they won't be too hard. I think it's just going to be the other legendary knittables that we have to make that is going to be the hard part. So I'm going to get her to just carry on doing what she's doing. We have made um, a good few things so far that we're going to list and then we're going to sell them all in one go and see what we get. So she's currently just finishing off um, her last thing that she had in progress and then let's have a look at some of the other things we could knit. So she's made some plant holders um, she's made some rugs for herself. Maybe we should have a look at some things to sell. Although we are running out of money again. But if we make one of these, then we've got a hundred more Smolians and we can see what else she can knit with that. And then we'll get them all listed. I have a feeling we can buy the frugal trait now. So hopefully we will get less bills. Uh, where has it gone? frugal uh, reduce bills okay yeah we've got almost 4,000 points now so I think I'm definitely gonna get 
that, hopefully it's actually worth it. Oh, we've aged up. Adulthood, fulfilling dreams, a planning for retirement and midlife crisis await. The perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. She's just randomly going to wash her hands. Oh, she's getting water. So let's just carry on knitting some more things. So she has actually just made another legendary knitable. Oh, two actually. So where are we now? Okay, so she's still got to make two more. And I think she's got a few things on the go. No, she doesn't. So we will just... Um, just trying to find a couple different things that she can make. Oh, so she hasn't made a turtle yet. Let's go with the teal one. That's cute. That's got to be the third time she's wet herself in this whole series. <laughs> That's just embarrassing. You should feel embarrassed. I told you to go to the toilet. Okay, so we've been asked to join Paragons. This is the group I always get asked to join. And I never really know what you do in groups. So let's have a look and see if we can figure it out. So we'll join the group. And then tomorrow is actually Love Day. So maybe we can use this opportunity to try and find someone. <laughs> So I'm keeping back a couple things because we do need to donate five things. So some of the not so good things um, that she's been knitting, we're going to donate those. And yeah, we've got one person wanting to buy something already, but I want to try and save it up so we can sell them all in one go. Right, so her social's pretty low now, um, but it is love day and we are going to try and go out and maybe see if we can do these things which are... Okay, we don't need to do that one or that one because we're alone now, but we just need to give flowers. So we'll find someone to give flowers to and we will see maybe if we can do something to do with this group. So I guess if we start a gathering, I wonder where they'll do it. Okay, so we'll go to this place and see what happens. So to give flowers, we need to use the purchase gift interaction on the phone to buy flowers, okay? Oh no, he's materialistic. We've made a bad choice here, I think. Okay, let's see if we can ask out this guy on a date. Wait, come back. There we go, ask on date. Uh, see if he actually wants to go. Wait. I wonder if he's actually straight. Um, I'm questioning it now just with the outfit combo. It's very well put together. <laughs> Although he said yes to a date, so. Beautiful right next to the bin. <laughs> Try for baby in bush. Wow, it's a bit soon for that, I think. Okay, so we pretty much aced that date, I think. So let's see if we can... Oh, let's do a bold pickup line. And then... Ask to be boyfriend. I have gone off on a serious tangent from knitting. Oh, great. <laughs> this is a perfect end to a date. Wow. Hopefully she is knitting something legendary right now, but probably not. Oh, she finished it. Let's see what it was. Oh, it was! <laughs> Wait, what was it? This, I think. Oh, wow. Pretty good. So we've got one more legendary thing to knit. Then we'll donate some things. And how cute would it be if we taught our new boyfriend how to knit? I think I'm going to do that. Yes! Okay, what was that we just did? Oh, it was the legendary things. Cool. So, yeah, we just have to teach to knit and donate to charity. So that's great. And then we have quite a few things that people want to buy. I might save up a little bit more until we've got about 10. So that's legendary. So let's list that and see what we can get for that. And that is also legendary. So then we'll have one, two, three, four, five. Let's list 12 things. And then we need five things to donate, so we've got one, two, three. So two more things to donate we need to knit. Okay, whatever she's knitting just costs 70 simoleons, so it better be good. 
Okay, so we actually have quite a few things now that are all ready to get sold. I think there's 10 things. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, 10 things. Um, a couple more things that are listed. And then we also now have five things to donate. So what I'm going to do is donate these things first. So it's that thing and that. The yellow octopus. Uh, Timmy the turtle and the sweater as well. So then that will hopefully quite easily tick this bit off here. Okay, great. So we've done all of our donations. So the last thing is just to teach a sim to knit. Okay, so she can now also sell all of these items pretty much that are on Plopsy. So let's see what we can get for them. So 318. Let's see what we start with. So 932. Okay, wow, so that was pretty much just over 2,000 altogether. So that's quite good. That was 10 items and we have the marketable trait. So that would be slightly more than we would have got if we didn't have. Um, now that she's done that, and we just need to teach another sim to knit to get this whole section done, what I want to do is, since we've got a bit more money, is actually expand the house again. So I want her to have like her whole own crafting room um, and just generally the house is a little bit basic still. So I'm going to be working on that now. Right, so as you will be able to see just from this corner up here, we are back round to Harvest Fest. So it has been a full sim year since we started doing this. Um, we do have the gnomes on our plot, so I'll do that in a second. But the first thing is just to kind of show the changes that I've made to the house so it's a lot bigger now it's a much better space for her to sort of fit everything that she needs in so the porch is pretty much the same it just kind of sticks out a little bit to give us some more room inside and then we have a much nicer space for the living area it's not so cramped now um, we've got a little table and chairs in the middle now with the slightly bigger kitchen and we've even got cabinets um, we've got a door to go out to the back but that isn't really done at all yet um, that's just so we can eventually have a garden um, the bedroom is um, a little bit more decorated, kind of the same colour scheme as before, um, but with some sort of browns and some neutral colours as well. And yeah, bathroom's pretty much the same. And we also now have the room for the sort of crafting area all ready to go. And we've actually got a really decent chunk of money because we got that phone call from the uncle. So that was where it was saying, you come into money, um, you can sort of accept without any... Um, questions and then you have to get married in seven days but I didn't fall for that trick again so I said what are the conditions and you just get the money so yeah we've got that we found a few things from collecting like voodoo dolls and stuff like that so that's why we've got almost 4,000 simoleons now so yeah that's a really good amount of money to decorate the craft room really nicely um, but I'm gonna first of all see if we can do this Okay, did that work? He doesn't seem happy. <laughs> no. <gasps> what? <laughs> um, I'm scared. <laughs> Let's just let's just get rid of that. I honestly do not know what is going on. Okay, okay, they like food. <laughs> I think that's the trick. I think that was all of them. Yeah. Um. Right. So. We've also got quite a lot of stuff that we can sell and then we've got some stuff that's still listed but waiting to get sold. So I'm going to do that just so we've got more money and we're going to sort out this crafting room here. Okay, so we've still got some stuff listed but 4,500 up to just over 7,000 so that's pretty good for I think it was about 8 to 10 items. but. 
definitely a good chunk of money to decorate with and we may as well do this and then I'm going to have a look at the reward points again because I haven't done that in a while so we should have quite a few now. Um, decorate, that looks like it's kind of done, I'm not sure why that tick is flashing but we need to cook a grand meal and be thankful but the last time I invited someone over they stole my sofa so I'm actually questioning if I want to do this or not. Um, I think maybe we'll just forget about that actually. So yeah, I'm going to get to decorating in here and get this sort of fully kitted out. Okay, so the power has actually been shut off again, which kind of makes it difficult for decorating and things like that. So I'm going to hold off a little bit on that um, and then just wait. I think it's 12 hours until it comes back on. So what we can do in the meantime then is do the last thing on this list here which is teach another sim to knit so i've come up with a plan so that i don't have to invite anyone in who's going to steal any of our furniture we're going to go to a lot and we're going to invite another sim with us and we're just going to do it there we might need to chat a little bit first because normally it does come up oh finally okay so yeah teach to knit oh this is cute Yes, we did it. Okay. We got some points for that as well, so I will check out what else we can get. Because I'm not sure how many we have. I think we've got a decent... Oh, it's 4,125. That's quite good. Um, Is that the whole thing? I think that's it. I think we've done it. <laughs> so yeah, aspiration completed sacred knitting knowledge so with this gift she can unite threads to create things once thought impossible <laughs> that sounds very deep also gains bonuses to teaching others how to knit the spell of the vial of black magic of the sweater curse ah, okay so where you basically give your sim this s certain sweater and it causes you to break up <laughs> somehow knitting can do that to your relationship so I wonder if we should see, I don't think there's anything else relevant to knitting now that we've done this. I think it is just time to get the house sorted out. Okay, and here we have her finished craft room, which she's happily knitting in right now. Even though she is broke, she's got one simoleon left. But yeah, we've got every piece of the um, new furniture from the pack in here. So we've got the desk, the trolley. And we've got a couple of the bits that go on the wall as well. Um, this item here, which is the two that snap together and then another sort of big unit. And then I just got her to knit some things to go around the room and decorate it a little bit. And I paired a few things that aren't actually from the pack um, with this other stuff just because it sort of fits in nicely. Um, like these curtains are from the movie hangout pack. And we've got like a little um, craft box over here. And yeah, everything that's on here is also um, like decorations that you can buy. Um, and she's knitted a lot of things as well that I used to decorate it. And yeah, this is the um, finished craft room. This I'd say is probably the minimum size you'd have to make it. Um, just so that it's not too cramped. Oh, perfect timing. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, lots of sort of hanging plants and stuff around and little bits that she's made too. Um, something else weird that I've noticed is this thing that she's knitted moves around by itself. It's actually quite creepy, but yeah, that was in the bedroom with this little one here, which you can't really see now because the power shut off. But yeah, that moves around by itself. So that's also something to be a little bit wary of. But yeah, the, the craft room is now done. Well, I was going to record like a little mini time lapse of me just finishing off the house with the last money that I had, but I realised that 4,000 simoleons does not go that far and I used all of it on a fence and then I had nothing left. So what I've done is just made the front of the house look a bit nicer. We've got no back garden, but she didn't really need one anyway. And I have finished all of the aspirations now, so I thought this would be a good end to the series. Um, she's sort of completed everything she needed to. She's grown old as well. She's got grey hair, but you can't see it underneath her um, amazing outfit now. 
I also just wanted to give my opinion on the pack. Um, it's very positive. I do really like all of the items. The only thing I would say is that you can't really um, get rich or like only use the knitting and plopsy for like a rags to riches kind of thing. So a lot of the money that she had was from collecting things to get her able to knit and then it takes a little while for things to sell so that's not really a feasible way to kind of get rich in the game. But I do think it's a really nice pack in addition to everything else that you can get for The Sims 4. So yeah, it's really good. I'll definitely use a lot of it in the future in my games. Um, a lot of the items are really nice. Um, not just the stuff you can knit for clothes and decorations but the furniture as well I really enjoy. So yeah that's pretty much it. Um, that's going to be the end of this series now that she's completed her aspiration and if you did like the video um, please do give it a like down below and consider subscribing if you want to see more things of The Sims from me and other games and yeah thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!